Okay, yeah, let's take the box off. All right, here we go. Okay, there's no spiders around his neck, so we can slide this off. Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. Good. And nice yeah, work, buddy. You made it! Yay! <sighs> Leash, now I got an answer to what's the worst thing you've ever done on the show. You okay? I don't really think I can adequately describe that, that, that scurrying, uh, that sensation. It's just like, not only is it a really scary thing, but you just can't get away. Uh, well, the experiment's over. We've got your baseline. We've got your temperature during the test. We've got your temperature before the test. So we're gonna go compare all the results and we'll tell you if you got cold feet. Yeah, you know what, from the looks of it, I think you might have. I think I might have too. Okay, check this out. First control, heart rate, 87. Temperature of his feet, 96.3. Okay, that's normal. Okay, we stick the spiders in front of him. Heart rate, 139. <laughs> and the temperature of his feet dropped to 81.9 and remained that temperature for the rest of the time the spiders were on him. Wow, he actually got cold feet. An impressive drop of 15 degrees means the myth is heading in the right direction. But remember, Tori's test was inconclusive, so the guys can't call the result yet. Which means it's Carrie's turn to step up, bare her soul for science, and face her worst fears, a meal made by Grant and Tori. To cold feet and warm bugs. Their challenge is to present vegetarian Carrie with a buffet that will cause her paws, a feast of fear to give her cold feet. Now, preparing this feast, I mean, if you can call it that, has been disgusting. I mean, it smells bad. I think that's done. It looks bad, it's gooey, it's slimy. And then, to finish it off, healthy coating of slime. Hey, I mean, I'm about this close to throwing up myself, and I got a strong stomach. It is the largest snail in American waters. I cannot imagine what Carrie is going to do when she comes out and sees what she has to eat. Oh, it smells so bad and seated at her table with her foot on thermal camera and her heart rate monitor on her wrist, her eyes are about to be assaulted along with her nose. Okay, hey, here's our buffet. We have chicken fingers, which is a delicacy in the oh, American God. South of China. <laughs> Abalone, this is Conca Le Grand. We have kidney and liver, both uncooked and cooked, Flavored with abalone slime. That way you have a choice. Don't forget the bung gut. Yeah, that is basically uh, the end of a pig's intestine. <laughs> Deep fried. Incredibly, in addition oh, to I this feast of fear, the guys are throwing in a little live action. The special Ooh. supplied by Owen, our provador of phobias. Okay, I am sweating. My palms are wet. Now, in case you're thinking Grant and Tori are being unreasonably cruel, Carrie doesn't have to eat everything. Just an entree in Maine. Choose any two. Well, uh, hmm. I can definitely eliminate a few. I'm not going to eat anything that had any cuteness in its lifetime. The boys know I have a very limited diet. I, I don't, I don't eat, I don't eat mammals and <sighs> definitely don't eat things that are slimy. So I, the bugs, strangely enough, were the best choice for me. They seemed the most sanitary, considering most of this stuff was prepared in the shop anyway. Come on, giant hissing cockroach. Just bite the head off, and the rest is just like butter. Yeah. It's like a pate. You sure you don't want to try Back the, the bunga? Up. Back up. It's our homemade recipe. Despite the staff's helpful recommendations, Carrie makes up her own mind. I think I'm going to go with small. OK. These came out of a beehive, so I'm gonna pretend they taste like honey. <laughs> <laughs> the waxworm, the larva of wax moths that live as parasites in beehives. What's your heart rate at? 116. Oh my God, she's at 82.9 degrees. Looks like you're scared. Yeah, you know what, all the colors on your foot are turning more towards blue. Just like Grant, there's a clear and significant drop in the skin temperature of Carrie's foot. Ooh, this is awful. I don't like, I don't even want to touch it. So far, that's a drop of 13 degrees. And what's unlucky for Carrie is she's yet to get through her first course. Oh, she did it. 
and with the worm putting up a fight, Carrie's fight or flight response is fully activated. It wiggled, it wiggled in my throat. Heart rate, 149. Temperature, 79 degrees. I can feel it in my throat. Is it still moving? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. There's no doubt Carrie has cold feet, but the agreement was two courses. Plus, revenge is a dish best served with live bugs. I want to know one thing. Yeah. Why is it that I am a grown woman and boys are still trying to make me eat bugs? Again, working on the principle that gross things are best swallowed small. Ooh, you better eat it. It's getting away. Carrie selects the Chinese brown cricket. Hey, don't play with your food. You're like a cat. You're just playing with your food till you eat it, huh? Shut up, both of you. With Carrie on edge and close to fight, the cricket's flight is up. Not sure the cricket was the best choice. I'll tell you why. You ever get a popcorn shell stuck in the back of your throat? I think, I think there's a leg. I think, I think there's a leg back there. Medic, stand by. After a short break to release the cricket back into the wild. Science tastes like vomit. Get her heart rate back under control and regain her composure. Carrie is ready to discuss the results. All right, so these are the results for Carrie. And as you can tell, you got cold feet. Yeah, check out here your control. You start out with a heart rate of 110, and your foot temperature is 96 degrees. And when you walk into the room, your heart rate goes up to 130, and the temperature of your feet went down to 84. Well, I think that graph is pretty clear. The, the decline in temperature in my foot just goes Particularly here, when you eat your first bug, <laughs> your heart rate goes to 149. And when you started choking on the cricket, look what your heart rate is. Oh my god. And your temperature is 78.6 degrees. So for Carrie and Grant, the idiom is clearly confirmed. Their foot temperature dropped by an astonishing 15 degrees or more. But Tori's results weren't nearly as conclusive. So where does that leave us? So you had a small drop in temperature. It wasn't quite as significant as Grant or mine, but still a drop. So we're gonna have to call this one plausible. Wow, that's cool. All right, plausible. Plausible it is. You can get cold feet. Can we just not do any more experiments that involve dropping spiders on your head, making me eat nasty things, or having you plummet towards the earth at death-defying speeds? Sounds good to me. Me too. <laughs>